flesh, Legion marches. Welcome back to Total Warhammer 3 Part 4 of our Who Got the Plague Fall the Remote Empires campaign. In today's episode, we are here to defend the Flayed Rock from Helmut Gorst. He had decided that running was no longer his style, so he decided to charge directly at our uh, Nurgling squad here, as the Flayed Rock, for some reason, is defended almost entirely by Nurglings. Uh, so we'll do what we can to hold the enemy back. We'll just get all the Nurglings in one group. I'm pretty sure just control I, I guess everyone is considered an infantry here. We'll grab them like this. Take out our cavalry beasts and then the uh, grand duke and yurg crackle are our uh, lords for this battle bring it on what we're gonna do is we're gonna hide our toes in the forest here and let them charge in and crush whatever units do break formation these have two units of hounds they're giving a little battle cry all of the nerglings versus all of the undead Going to be a bit of a battle here. Most of these skeletons do have bonus versus infantry, so we are at a disadvantage. Ooh, especially if we just did. Oh, nothing bad. Never mind. Let's keep the rot flies here. He has no ranged units. Looks like they have learned a little bit of a lesson from uh, the previous couple battles, though, and they're not sending their dire wolves just directly in to get butchered. Which makes me a bit sad. They don't count as large units, so our Nurglings aren't going to have any bonus versus them. It's just that they're, they're not a great unit for uh, fighting Nurglings. Not sure what the plan is. I think they really want to try to flank us or up on this position here. Geography is just going to say no to that one. I need to go ahead and rotate these Nurglings ever so slightly. We have plenty more that can kind of fill in where needed. We've got all the little rolly balls of death. Even Gorsh and the Necromancer far away. It's an interesting strategy. Keep the drones nearby. Lots of spears. I want the spears to actually be engaged in combat before sitting the toads in. There are some more zombies. Where are the crypt horrors? At least one need different ghouls over here. It is these smaller ghouls, horrors. Must be in probably a really bad shape, even with nerglings. Oh, I see. He wants to keep Gorst well away from the spear leeches. And they wouldn't be going on him anyway. They would be dropping down on Vostus, who is actually damageable. Nouns Knight might need a hug quite soon. They're just going to slowly walk towards us. Alright, Nerglings, they're almost in our vicinity. Let's go ahead and uh, charge them now. These two units get their uh, supposed flank attack off. We'll send all the other Nerglings in. Plague Bears as well. Yeah, they're keeping those spears just close enough. We are just going to ignore those. Oh, there we go. Necromancer is exposed. Send them in. Just a matter of who can outlast who. It does look like they are going to notice our toads. We're going to send them a little ways away. Just bring them on towards the actual battle here. They should be much faster than the skeletal spearmen. We're still summoning some zombies, so we have to keep an eye. Our leadership will drop it down on whoever is looking like they're starting to waver. We have none of that just yet. Brave Guard, let's go ahead and pull these toads through. As long as we can keep them away from those spears. Break the Necromancer's spirits. That works as well as anything else. Like a fireball into this back line. Toads keep coming on through. We're 
crash you into these crit pools here. Pull you away from these spears. Did a little bit of damage and slowed them down. I charge you into these crit pools as well. Light of the Toads once more. Battering their way on in. Points are pulling this group through, and these can actually engage. Surround Gorse for but a moment. Let's see how much damage we can get on him. It's not going to be much. He's pretty dangerous. Go ahead and pull you on back. No need for any. It looks like these Nurgle can use a bit of help in terms of their leadership. Go ahead and pull the toads away on both sides there. Might try to send a few to help. Go ahead and slow these zombies down and try to pull them away. We'll crash this into the group of zombies. Pull the toads away from here. Need the flies to get out of combat if possible. Come on, rough flies. Those as well. Let's bring them away from that fighting. If the uh, crypt ghouls want to chase, that's just fine by me. Pulling the flies out of combat is very important here. I'm going to chuck a, another fireball. Can we hit any of these that are important units? The graveyard would be great. Stop turning around there, Roth Lies. You got nothing else to go into the battle for. There's the key to try to ignore orders. Come on. Lee, you fools. Should have enough of them broken from combat now. There we go. The Toes should make quick work of these Crypt Ghouls, hopefully. They drop them away from their comrades. Bring the flies back around and hopefully land them in. We just need to do so once the enemy is uh, engaged. Bring the flies up to the crit pools. Anyone who's starting to waver with their leadership. Doesn't really look like it. Start saving our spirit leeches then. And you guys, oh, get back. Got several leadership wavering units over here. Try to keep them fighting a bit longer. These script ghouls looks like we are going to lose some nerglings here. Let's send in some more. Go ahead and pull this plague ridden back a little bit so we don't have any issues with his leadership either. All of those sound terrible. Let's integrate. Pull our speed units away from them. For some reason our uh, our elite are actually losing leadership against a group of graveguard. I don't think so. Let's let them fight. Necromancers are nearly close enough for the Spear Leech. But luckily they, are, they have been uh, suffering due to leadership as well. It's a monster mash. We're still losing some of our toes, though. It looks like this Grave Guard are going to hold the line just well enough. Spear Leech down on this Necromancer. Wait, wait for that to end. Drop down another one. Get the toads closer to their own lines. We can crash into these spearmen here. We're going to lose some of the demons on our own side, but if we can do some butchering of our own. Spear Leech ran out. Check fireball, perhaps, at the Necromancer as well there. Exploded in the middle of those spearmen, which is even better. You're still going to lose the toads, but as much damage as they can actually get into these uh, spears, start them degrading away as well. How much magic do we have left? Looks like none. Bring you. We really need you in with the forces, though. Start smacking these dire wolves. And you do the same. Start clobbering some spearmen. On the 
Fireflies are still fighting those Graveguard. If they want to bring their Necromancer back, we can try to butcher him real quick. His death would be a huge loss for them. We can see the heals. It's just a matter of who can outlast who at this point. Healing a death blow to that Necromancer would be huge for us. I see lots of wavering on their side. Go ahead and slow these Graveguard even further so they're not continuing to chase our big units. They're able to catch them, no problem. Wolf flies away. Try to get them up so they're not taking as much extra damage from that leadership. Get it through the line, it'd be great. The problem is, Grave Guard are quite dangerous. Get another nice row through the line. I can hear for it, but it'd be tough to actually make it happen. We get another explosion in the middle of the Spearman. Any Nurglings that aren't fighting, you'll find you a nun dead and punch him in the face. Fortunately, I just don't know if we're going to have what it takes to outlast them. We can get both of our lords into a melee duel with his Necromancer. I'm pretty sure we can take him down. We have to wade through a lot of enemy troops, though. Go ahead and smash in. We can't escape. Right, we've lost our biggest and strongest units now. Of course, Sealy might just be able to win the day. Absolute wall of Nurglings, but it is starting to buckle. If we get you guys to waddle on through and take down this Necromancer, that would be fantastic. As it does look like we're starting to lose it now. It's really unfortunate. A whole bunch of gold has gone into upgrading the Flame Rock. I didn't think he had a chance in uh, Hades of taking this from us. Learn the hard way. Speed this one up as we're going to sit here for a while and just kind of watch them disintegrate. Meanwhile, Gorst forces just keep barely enough uh, leadership across the board here to not. Yeah, we're getting we're getting nothing going on here in terms of damage. Very sad. Yeah, we had a chance for a moment. I will go ahead and let this uh, battle run its course, and I'll catch you in a moment. Alright. Yeah, Valiant Defeat. Oh, I think we would have performed much better if we didn't have uh, the uh, weird demonic instability to deal with, where most of our troops weren't even slain in combat, they just died from, I guess, getting scared of the undead, even though they're demons. That is the way. Alright, the Grand Duke was killed in battle. What is going on here? Vorpashini! <laughs> Is he chasing uh, Greases out of out of the mountains? Definitely seems to be the case. Oh, we definitely lost the Flayed Rock as well, and that was one we were building up. That's really unfortunate. And the Grand Duke also kneecapped, so of course he's going to be able to build up another pretty massive force very quickly. So we need a new Herald of Nurgle immediately. So let's snag Watson and Gallant or Contagious. The Counter Puke Sworn. Awful name, but welcome to our armies. We'll have Septon turn around and go ahead and join up right away. Ugeth, your job is to now break the Nobbly Gorge. Whole bunch of undead here. Shouldn't be too big of an issue for you. Asian, so we should be able to become very tanky if he's losing a fight. I'm thinking we'll just go for an additional cooldown and wins a magic cost reduction for the Curse of the Leper. 
Let's deal with our herd here. Father. You all feel about toxic missiles? Being the gleaming pendant, we're definitely going to add on to just any of our frontline nerdlings. We could pass out a nice bit of a leadership and discipline for everyone in a 40 meter radius. Either the nerdlings or just our normal plague bears. I'd rather not lose them. Whatever helps their leadership. 31 as opposed to 49 is just abysmal. That's why they die so fast. All right, then I'm dead. Do your worst. So luckily, we do have the anti-hero hero at Samoth here. So that White King should know that if we close the gap, he is going to get destroyed. They have four bats, which is not very scary. Let's set Kugath up. Let's set him up on top of the hill. Bomb of shots down on him. In fact, we can take an old strategy out of my Amon Best campaign. Grab a bunch of Nerglings and shove them up front here just to kind of stop any nonsense. Because we have all of the Nerglings up front. We can see about this side in a moment. A few units of Plague Bearers to keep them coming around on us. Foolish Undead. Toads in the back line here for maximum crushification. Beast to defend a Kugath. Legs heads to be just disgusting. But Marauders to kind of also be here to be a stopgap. I don't mind them being whoever he casts spells at, so go for it. Moth and Kevin. The Stink. Units on the ground, although he is the only flyer at the moment, so we'll go with something like that. Triple stuff. That'll begin. Have the toads and the hound dogs. Come on back, a smidge. And by back, I mean we're gonna have you guys go around to defend the nurgling forces, which are going to go sideways like so. You gotta start bombing your shots at pretty much whoever you want. I don't think they have anything all that deadly here. Brave Guard are across the way, but I'm not so scared of them. Roll them back just a little bit so they can come up around the corner, but they're still going to be kind of forced between this gap here. You guys actually hit them there? They're in an interesting angle. You might be hitting the, the cliffs more than anything else. Would make me quite sad. Who guys? Come over here. Leg bearers forward. What is your plan? If it hit a perfectly angled shot here, that is going to eviscerate. Go and make a position like so. Have all the beasts ready to charge. Up and smoosh them. There's some grave guard for you to smack there, Kugath. New targets have been located. Take out some nerglings, send them up this way. Very lovely explosive gift. Take you guys off fire will. You ready from here? We launched any shots yet? I don't see any hits. Who got up to zero kills so far? He's already used a lot of his ammo. Oh, never mind, he's up to ten. Well done there, brother. You didn't get to see that one. Oh, they're starting to get better at stutter stepping on him. That's not great. Round stay over here. So the toads and everything else around. For defend this flank. The bats are going all the way around. Yes, exactly. Go for it. You keep blobbing up like this, too. Perfect targets for Kugath. Yeah. 
they will be healing it. Does this group have the same immunity to everything that Gorse does? No, that's only in his army. Since they're healing this squad, let's, let's be a little bit smarter and hit these graveyard here. Although it seems like the heals have already worn off. Fortunate for you all. Alright, surround and destroy. And we'll try to wait for them all to uh, get involved with our group. And we'll send in the toads from there. Come back a little bit. Towns and toads moving to annihilate these skelly warriors. In fact, we're going to go ahead and have the beast of Nurgle come on around. And add their bolt to that fight. Yes. Going quite well. Keep launching those uh, shots into the middle of these graveyard there. Yeah, so in the ancient battle of toads versus bats, we're going to figure out who is going to be the victor. They're just trying to lock those marauders down. Go ahead and pull them back a little bit further there. We can drop down a curse of the leper to make sure they're reflecting ammo back at them or the like damage back at them. Which of those fell bats, please? Hound dogs, it's your turn to annihilate some spearmen. Own snacks for all the puppers. I was about to do that for them. Oh, they exploded and didn't do any extra damage. You have to actually detonate it yourself, or that doesn't have, nothing actually happens. Go ahead and charge in. Break this vampire. She's made a horrible mistake. Send in the plague bears and the toes go around. You move through and start launching those death sets at the most important target. Just bring. Do not speed up. Bring you into uh, melee mode there. It is done. Big Baba himself. Don't want to overcast a single one. And then we will weaken this White King fully. Nurgle spells are very expensive. So very powerful. Lover that vampire. Great. Pull these out. These loads away. You nerglings who get involved, we can explode you from there. Gotta find the necromancer. I'll launch some drones down, or some drones heads. So you got invincible. You keep clobbering that vampire, you go after the white king. Away. Let's make sure our hounds are safe. Well, they're doing just fine. Ravenous they are. These toads need to pull away from the graveyard, though. Kind of one of their biggest weaknesses. Bring this group on in. Mind going for some goodies there. Yeah, they actually only do the damage if you explode them where they're supposed to. Which would make sense. Lake Barry's turn around, there's a graveyard coming. Armies of death, learning what death really means. He's also great when our poison is actually able to take effect the way it's supposed to. You need to slow this lad here down. Let's go ahead and bring him to his knees. More skelly warriors are getting involved. Ooh, yes. Let's go ahead and uh, move through to break that group. So let's drop down our nerdlings and blow them up immediately. They're going to have a... Uh, we have a really bad day for everyone here. Get you away from that nonsense, drop you in some extra armor. He's slaying the vampire. Come on through and get this white king next. We'll send Kugat into the middle of these guys. That sads are very dangerous, even against single entities. You can see them all over the ground. 
Or like the, the digested heads of people who have been eaten by the uh, plague drones. Quite horrifying. He's losing his fight, but for all we know, he's winning just fine. Over on the hillside engagement, which has absolutely no heroes. It's the beast of the heroes we needed. Rip through them, nerdlings. There's actually Grave Guard in there, that that's what your target is. Nerdlings go after these spearmen. And rest in peace, the enemy necromancer. Turn them into a melee mode. Fight of the flies. We need to charge up more death heads. Okay. We got some sedan sized heels. The gift in fighting along those that they soon shall become. enough blessings, because they don't actually become the Plague Bearer. These guys are actually uh, bits of Nurgle himself. Looks like the demon's leadership is starting to break now. Finally realized that their situation is hopeless. Poison Hound looks like they, uh, they flash stepped in. They wake up and choose violence every day. Undead defeated. Speed that one on up. Play the world's smallest violin. Or the undead. Turn it into a decisive victory, only losing 44 in the fighting. You know, as if every time our poison actually is able to take effect, we annihilate our enemies. Gorsh is pretty dangerous though, just since he can completely ignore our main, uh, our main positives to our armies. It belongs to Love and vigor, and the demon spew, which are some lovely forsaken. We've already got Uncle for Uncle. It's already time to bring in the great unclean one, is it? The only one that gets a great at Cleveland has to be uh, Kugath. Our next skill point, Rotting Ways. While other great and clean ones mere merely spread disease, the fetid brewmaster is ever breeding new, more virulent proc toxins to delight his master and destroy the foe. Higher chance of plague spreading. Hopefully we'll finally get some to spread beyond just the ones that we, we drop in through the cauldron. That'll point into Plague Father's Protection or Training. Will be the answer there. Didn't actually gain all that much from the victory. We'll be needing to do a lot of building up there at Nobly Gorge. Alright, we have some recuperation to do. Hopefully, Grimgore stays fighting the Ogres. I bet you never know. You never know. Is that a cult over here in Hergig? Sure, why not? I think it is uh, Festus' fault. Thank you, Festus. We shall take extra growth in all provinces, immune to attrition in the local province, and then a drop to all buildings faction-wide. Sounds great. That's what we're going to be doing in probably most of our uh, cult settlements there. So down to the counter, who is the new Grand Duke. Great. Maker. An opportunity presents We've got our first quest battle. Collect more dwarven specimens. Thank you, evil old man. Product vessels win the following battle with Kugath. Kugath's past dealings with the dwarves have not gone well. The diminutive cave dwellers have an iron constitution, which stubbornly resists Nurgle's blessings, in spite of the Plague Father's endless experiments. What is needed is a large quantity of test subjects, so that Kugath can divine what lies at the root of his, this resistance. Once this is isolated, he can formulate a new wave of plagues of such virulence, even the dwarves' senseless uh, recalcitrance will crumble. 5,000 extra favor, 
bit of replenishment and control for all provinces, as well as our necrotic missiles, which were bugged for a very long time. I think they're fixed now, but they did not fire extra missiles for a very long time, poor Kugath. Though sending alone nerdlings towards enemy settlements appears a baffling act of folly, mighty demons know no greater honor than to die showering their killers in disease. Now we've got the fever symptom. You can gain a bit of a gold every time the plague spreads. Commit rebellion down there in the haunted forest. Such is the way. The Noblar kicker is hiding from the greenskins. Fair enough. We could give the Nobbly Gorge on over to the Ogres for some, uh, some deals. I don't think we should. Make the Ogres pay for it. About to have a rebellion over here in the Haunted Forest. We'll just kind of scoot on over here. We're to take attrition. No thanks. We'll just go to the Gorge itself then. I like to go into summoning stance. We're channeling then. We're higher than zero. No such is not the way. Why is the winds of magic so bad here? I wonder. Won't do any building in Nobly Gorge that's on the cusp of all of our enemy territory. We move up to deal with the Blade Rock pretty quickly, too. Anything to be built in our main settlements? Altest Enclave up to here, three. Increases our income by 15% by all for all buildings. Be pretty solid. Let's go for it. How much is Uncle for Uncle? He's gonna cost 4,800. Very pricey, great and clean one he is. For now, two Nurglings. We know we're not quite enough to hold back the Undead Tide. Hopefully Shattered Stone Isle and Bay at least have more of the uh, Armored Lads than the others did. It was only Nurglings up here in the Flayed Rock. Did not go so well. Surprisingly enough. So you've got no plagues. Let's see if... We can get lucky this time. So we can go for Zibubos or the Ague. We're gonna get the five symptoms. We get Limb Blight. We're unlocking some more of our symptoms here. Ooh, violent spasms. Cycle time minus one for basic military buildings. And chance of plague spreading plus five percent. You can hear the bones breaking inside the flesh. Whoa. Let's infect this man and get out of here. Give a spasm so hard your arm breaks. That's a, a definite issue. Locked our second tier. What do we have here? Ravenous tadpoles. Bonus versus large for plague toads. Double experience for all. What is going on here? You teabagging this corpse? That is highly disrespectful. Some tumorous squirts, which also sounds just lovely. Spickable rivals, which would uh, be a counter to Thinch. Agentus Horde. Anything for the army abilities that'll actually allow us to heal? Line of sight when a plague is spread, too. Well placed pox maggot in the eyeball can grant sight beyond sight, at least until all the jelly is consumed. Yeah, I figured it would be in like that. Let's grab the fecundity here. Grab the actual healing in battle beyond the actual uh, spellcaster that is. We business. I must test my condition. These guys haven't been moved because I'm scared they're going to get attacked. We can see the scrap tower, so I'm not thinking that they're uh, right there, but I'm not exactly sure how far he can move. Coming into a channeling stance is probably too dangerous. Back into the bay, please. Skip over the rebellion and please can we make deals with Oh no. Went down, but he is still continuing uh, towards higher positivity towards us. He likes the stinky lads in the bay. We need to keep it that way. 
Okay, so a Nurgle Rebellion moves on our fortress. We're gonna lose this one to a bunch of Nurglings. It's because they're elite. That's hilarious. Buzz removes Encourage. Speed and leadership drop. We're gonna try to fight this one because I'd rather now, but there's no way. We're half health and we're, we're way weaker than them. Good grief. I guess that gives us more opportunities to punch some gold out of that army. Okay. Yeah, here's what we're gonna do then. You can't trade settlements because you don't have one anywhere near us, and it looks like Grimgore is wiping you out as we speak. That is not great. Grimgore has been very dangerous this uh, campaign, it seems. Nurgle is a back ascendant. Nurgle's chosen. Gonna move to deal with Toxfarter here. We shouldn't even had to had to flip this one on around. Nurgle's Keep in mind that Nurgle's us. forest, and Nurgle's and actual settlement buildings are not now. nearly as dangerous to defend until they get up to about tier three. Tier two is still seven Nurglings, which is nothing. Once again, we'll throw in the cultist camp for animals. The rotten ox maker. 4,800 for Uncle for Uncle. I'm going to just kick out the Vaxxers here and add in Uncle for Uncle. We'll add them back in later on as probably some Forsaken or even some of the uh, spawn of Nurgle. Because I don't know where... Ooh, a wee bit of scouting. Where is Gorse? Who else is he fighting besides us? Burning Wind. Interesting. Counter, back into the settlement. We need 4,800 to recruit in for uncles. Let's give you... One more Nerdling should be fine. Should be good. Accepted, you come on back as well. Well... We're going to tell Noblar Gicker to get out of our land. And you know what? Dragon as weird as this might forget. seem, I am going Xiaomi to give... Does not forgive. We give Zhao Ming Nobly Gorge just to keep everyone else off our back. What would you give us for this? It's a fair bit of gold, isn't it? Giving things to order seems like a very bad idea, though. My Giggling grenades, extra ammunition, and more ammunition for the entire army. It'd be great we have more plague bears with grenades. And all those gifts. Choose between one of these three. Eventually, not yet. Organized seems to be a red line that all of the heroes get now. We're, we have this kind of going for our Kimbler campaign as well on all of our Necromancers. Uh, for Kevin Zistinky, quickly keep moving towards Fleshy Abundance. We, we really need the heals. Okay, for a secondary, Locus of Fecundity for those heals I said we needed. Toxic Trooper gives him the Acid Icker. Just a bit of extra melee damage reflection and armor reduction for all enemies in province. Plague Feeder is kind of boring. Yeah, let's make him a healer. He's going to be almost impossible to bring down. Not impossible, but almost. Right, another uneventful turn. Pestilent growth for a bit more replenishment rate. And we're already maxing on that one out. No real reason. Even though it hurts me, we save the gold. We'll be able to spend it next turn. And they'll go for. Wouldn't mind an enemy armor drop. Fostering those cults. Let's see if we get the Plague God's pasture to actually work and spread some plague around. So it has Ague for a single turn. Let's see if it actually works out. Right, Golden Tooth was 
not only ignoring our trespassing warning, he was raiding in our lands until this goblin punched him right in the side of the head. And now we need to defeat Midnight's children, so Zacharias von Sinkehoff. Gorge is going to try to press on and try to take back his capital, looks like. That is a line of thinking that I would very much like. Uh, so we'll just switch this guy's. You guys can be renamed to the uh, Enjoy. Do they ascended. My now we bring in Great Uncle for Uncle. He's quite expensive. He's got a Spirit Leech, a Filing at Deluge, which heals himself and damages the enemy. Stench Lord and the Greater Stench Lord. Awesome. So we have three of these guys total. I require Which seems goofy. The most Multiple uncle for uncles. Your spirit corruption is dropping rather slowly. We didn't actually spread any plagues around, so let's see if we can increase our own corruption. It's already up to 100, so we can't drop this further like such. You got then. You come on out. We have just enough for the West battle. Let's see if we can handle it. Necrotic missiles. Those are enemy forces. We are well outnumbered. It says. Wow. Iron breakers, really. Iron breakers and the flamethrowers. Yeah, we should at least grab a single one of our artillery pieces before taking this one on. All right, Dawi, for now. You get to remain. The good news is not for long. Let's see how close we are to getting the Soul Grinder. Four more turns? Blah. It's going to be two before we get more of these guys. We already have some Exalted Plague Bears, which is great. Ugath. Ambush. Come out of our territory? Yes, we can. Well, maybe not. Just barely out of the Vampiric Corruption, which is perfect. Lure Gorsh into a fight he doesn't want. He may go after the Gorge, but in that case, he's pinned down there, too. Uh, you guys need one more unit of Nerglings to keep things safe. Er, not fully safe. He may choose to go after them. And then again, at least then he's, he's locked down in one spot. That's not a fun... Not a fun proposition either way, though. Ugath, you come on in. Let's give you... I'm going to say the Ague once more, in case we get it to spread. Growth, cycle time. I mean, we'll use the very limited uh, infections we have. I think even though you only have... I mean, you don't have negative... Even if you don't have 25 of them, you can still stay in this summoning stance, which will... Give you all those buffs. Beautiful. And a turn. Alright, it's time to choose Violet. Come here, Gorst. Alright, chasing you around. He's in March stance, so hopefully we can just wipe him out here. Come on, AI, don't go right outside of our range. How dastardly would that be? Gorsh has been captured. We've already defeated you several times, fool, so... Yoink! A little bit of explosive stinky C4 and he's gone. We're gonna go ahead and get all of the extra infections. Molstus Steinhoff. Yeah, can't go any further, so we'll have you go into channeling stance. Also is not going to build you up any magic. Winds of Magic here is very lackluster. That's the moment when a drog of murder comes over to get some revengeance. Not sure what his vengeance would be for, but I don't trust it. We've got one Exalted Plague Bear. Take the time we add one. Uh, so the tier two Nerglings, find them together. Here we go. And we'll just add one of the grenade plague bearers on in. Got five grenades. Just fairly decent amount. I think we might actually go ahead and activate one of our uh, 
plague cultists. So let's drop down. Is there any of them that are going to actually make them take attrition? I mean, Ag, you will. Let's grab ourselves a plague cultist here at the Shatterstone Bay. Cultist of the Fly Lord. Group A cultist of Nurgle, and we gain ourselves hero action cost reduction and success chance increase. This is probably not exactly the cultist they were talking about. May Onward to doom. They will wail and suffer. They will indeed wail and suffer. Plague was spread, so Evo now has himself a. I think courtesy of Nurgle. Your last mistake. My last mistake, huh? No. Get the White King in there. Posh. This army isn't exactly scary itself, though. So more Nurglings. Strike. Posh. We'll work together to crunch the rest of the Blue Roses here in the next few turns. Anyone need more replenishment? Honestly, I think that's a good idea. Pestilent growth. And we are plague bears. The exalted variety are almost plague at max next turn. Plague weaver triumphant. And on Kugat himself, are we able to drop down more plagues? I'm thinking Bubos. Palsy. Anything that'll allow us to spread out some more of those infections. Or grab a few more of these uh, symptoms, as it were. Brain fog, 20% less weapon damage. All sorts of good stuff in our Plague Cauldron. Right, Grimgore's Wall was successful, which is probably bad for absolutely everyone. And mission successful, the cycle of life. Develop a cyclical building through its full life cycle. We gained a bit of extra favor. The Armor of Destiny and some infections. We are going to add this Armor of Destiny on to... Kugath. Five armor, five resistance, and 10% more ward save. And this one can now go on... Anyone else? Chosen. Mostly people who are here with Kugath directly, though. Banner of Swiftness and a Poisoner for you. We have no more items to hand out. Okay, well, we can go into an ambush dance. Move into about this position on the Nobbly Gorge. Rush Ivo here next turn as he is really interesting on down. Sorry, friend. We kind of do the same here. Get rid of one of our plague bearers and give them the exalted variety. I think we want four nerglings just kind of stuck with us at all times. One more. We'll add in the. We thought we had the exalteds. That was my mistake. Well, I did nothing then. One more turn and we have the. No, that's the final building. One more turn until we have the Soul Grinders. That's something we'll, we'll go ahead and save for. How much are they going to cost? Soul Grinders cost us. 3,800. Well and truly ready for the enemy there. Take the Tomb Hollow with the Haunted Forest. And then once we take down the Blue Roses, I'm going to have Kugath come over and kind of babysit the forest for a moment. That way we can make sure it is fully defended and we'll have to be likely be forced into a war with Grimgore. You have the replenished troops passive there. We shall end the turn yet again. Alright, the turn is ours, and Ivo's doom is upon him. We shall recruit on in. Oh, really? We didn't gain one of the soul grinders immediately? That's alright. We'll just grab these exalted plague bears because we're gonna grab Submit them either way. My and now we charge on towards the scrap towers. Conducted. And depending on what kind of victory it gives us here, close victory with medium casualties. Either way, we can at least try out some of our new exalted plague bears and then pick out Uncle Frankel in battle. Let's go ahead and encircle the settlement and bring the other demons on up to help. Even if they have to go into March. Right. 
bring them to here. And then summon in... This squad could have our spawn. Which is awesome. And then I had a name request for some spawn of Nurgle. We would just name them the Flood. As they do look very, very similar to the Squidgy Boys from Halo. And now let's keep you guys moving up towards the Scrap Towers. Perhaps having both... He's going to get turned into a decisive victory. Either way, we are going to fight this one. We're likely not going to worry about checking out this army at all, but we'll see our new Exalted Plague Bears, see how much damage those grenades do. Actually, the grenades drop on the Plague of Nurgle, which drops armor and gives them some damage over time. So that might be way more than these undead are able to handle. Either way, I'm going to be out of time for today. I have been Space Wizard Total War. Remember to leave a like for the like god and a sub to the sub thumb. I'll see you on the next one.